Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung. In this video we're going to cover Arista VEOS and installing it inside of Oracle's VirtualBox. And in the past I've kind of been against VirtualBox just because I use VMware Workstation a lot more. But what VirtualBox is going to give us in a future video is going to let us do GNS3 integration. So the two products are pretty tightly uh, coupled together. So when you make a VirtualBox VM, you're going to be able to restart it inside of GNS3 very easily. But for now, we're going to cover VirtualBox and Arista. First of all, make sure that you have your .iso and your .vmdk file copied over to a directory such as Arista1, Arista Test, or something like that. If you want, you can make Arista2, Arista3, Arista4 if you want. But for now, if you just want to make a single Arista folder, copy those two files in there you're good to go. Now what you're going to do is open up VirtualBox. I'm running the latest version. I think it's 4.3.18. Yep, there you go. And then click on the new icon in the upper left hand corner. We're going to call this Arista 1. And for the type it's going to be Linux and version Fedora 64-bit. And then click Next. For the amount of memory, 1024 is just fine. For most cases, if you have a lot of RAM, 2048, 2 gigs is also good. And click Next. Now for create a hard drive, usually you're going to use create a hard drive or use an existing virtual hard drive. The problem with this with Arista is later on in another step, you're going to have to nuke that hard drive and replace it. So it just adds a, a complication to things. So for now, we're going to click Do Not Add a Virtual Hard Drive and Create. It's going to give you a nag message. Just click Continue. And just like in VMware Workstation, we're going to have to go back into this VM and play around with some settings. Uh, general, you don't need to worry about. We're going to uncheck uh, Audio. Don't need that. Uncheck USB. Don't need that. And thankfully, unlike VMware, uh, there's no printer here, so we're good here. Then we're going to go into, let's see, system we should be okay. We're going to go into the most important part, which is storage. You'll notice that you've got the SATA controller. Uh, don't need it, so we can get rid of it. You can click on that guy and click down here, that kind of a green square, I think. I guess it represents a hard drive or something, and a red minus sign. So click on there. Now you're left with IDE and a CD drive that doesn't point anywhere. We're going to click on that. You can see it says empty. We're going to click on this icon and it's going to hook it into that .iso file. So choose a virtual CD disk. You're going to find that .iso, click on that guy, and click open. So that should be cool. Now what you're going to do is you're going to add in another device under that controller. And we're going to go, let's see, add an attachment. So this blue icon with a green plus. So click on there and click Add Hard Disk. We're going to choose an existing disk because we have a .vmdk file and we're under Arista 1 so that's good and that's our vmdk file. We're going to open that and that looks pretty good. Let's see here, our vmdk file is Primary Master and a boot is Secondary Master so that looks good. We're going to click OK. Go back to settings, let's check our boot order. Let's see where we can do our boot order here. Okay, so we've got our boot order. We don't need to do floppy and the CD-ROM is going to boot first and then it's going to look at the hard drive. So that's pretty cool. For the network you can leave everything just the same if you're just testing out to see whether Arista will boot up. You can leave everything the same. It'll be fine. Also, if you're looking for this later, if you're going to do GNS3, you can just leave everything the same because GNS3 is going to take care of the network adapters. Click OK and the moment of truth we're going to click on Start. And we got our terminal coming up and you can get rid of these nag messages here. And we've got our login screen. Let's see if we can log in. Looks good. Enable ConfT hostname switch 1 and we're good. Show version. There's our Arista VEOS instance inside of VMware, not VMware, 
or Oracle VirtualBox. All right, that was a quick and easy video, just setting up Arista inside a VirtualBox. Stay tuned for the next video. We're going to be doing this uh, kind of all over again, but it'll be much quicker. And we're going to be running multiple Arista switches very easily in a nice topology inside of GNS3. Once again, my name's Humphrey Chung with Router Gods. Thanks for watching.